Hi Libra, this is your seven month reading. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've been busy for the last couple of days. Um, as the uh, new episodes of The Witch have been updated and they'll be coming out automatically, the uh, Witches series and what is a Witches lifestyle, what does do they do, what do etc etc there's also discussions going on about the deck from Marla Brooks the witch's oracle and it is absolutely lovely it's great fun that I, we've done it Wendy and I have done it together so we've collaborated and it's great fun full of information okay um, well since we've got the coronavirus and everybody's getting bored and uh, is wondering what will be happening and what what energy will be there in the future I've made um, a seven month uh, update to the let's say the yearlies so use this video uh, to compare with the yearly <coughs> excuse me the yearly one that I've made for 2020 um, I'm using the animal, uh, uh, the, uh, the dog tarot deck, and I'm using the cat tarot deck. I'm also using the inspiration card of Wayne Dyer and Lenneman and Show and Tell, and a romance card. You always, uh, you will also see a new deck that I have purchased thanks to my beautiful super chats and super stickers in the life and I'm going to use them next week it's going to be awesome I can't wait to start the weekly because it will be totally different and you're the first ones to know so if you would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading then please look below the f this video in the description box and otherwise click on the little white circle here in the corner and it will take you to the website and there you can see um, all the information, reviews, the witches series, um, interviews <coughs> and even more. Okay, so now we're going to start with your first card and that is June. This is July, August, September, October, November, December. I'm using also the uh, 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 card under the deck um, as the overall energy and the cat deck is the clarification card. The first card, Libra, is you. You've got justice and justice also represents Libra. This could be you but this could also be that you might be meeting an other Libra. You might feel out of whack so in June you will be trying or you will get back into balance. If you are in a judicial situation, you will get what you deserve and so will the other one, the person against you. Oh, I didn't realize that this card was upside down, but you've got the King of Pentacles upside down. I hope you can see it. The King of Pentacles is Taurus, so you might have something, a case going on if you're in a judicial situation with a Taurus. This could be a lady or a man, but uh, it could be a lady that knows how to invest and has the status of the king, that everything they touch will turn to gold. But it is upside down, like I said, so it will not turn to gold for them, or it will, or something might not turn to gold for you, as the king of pentacles has the Midas touch. So it, when it is in reverse, it is also m the meaning in reverse. So you will not meet a, um, a, a Taurus or, and don't exclude the other um, pentacle signs, earth signs like Virgo um, or Capricorn, uh, but mainly it is Taurus. It could also be a man, okay? So he, when, it, when it's uh, upright, it it's everything that he touches will turn to gold or turn positive. So it will not turn out positive if you're, uh, uh, the person that you are challenging in a judicial situation, it will not turn out to, to be gold for them. Okay. So um, 
whatever you do if you're doing an inf uh, it's a warning if you are doing an infestation infestation um, it will not turn out to be what you expected so forewarned is forearmed then in July you have the king of C the alpha male of C that's the king of cups now the first house of water is cancer so it could be a cancer person that you will be meeting whether you're a lady or a man he stands for love passion nurturing caring handsome and sensuality because that's what the cups stand for um, that is in July so you might have cancer in your chart so you might be more nurturing more caring more loving or more passionate or you might be in top form you look great in July what's this card let's have a look this is the Queen of Swords oh isn't she beautiful she's in a, a British short head look at that and all the butterflies around her so for some reason or other I'm getting this is a transformational period perhaps you are more nurturing like I said or taking more care of yourself if you're not meeting a water sign in July you'll be uh, you might be meeting um, the Queen of Swords is Libra so you might be meeting a Libra but it could also be a Gemini or an aquarium so if you're not hooked up you could be meeting a new love or you could um, partner up in business or if you are in a traditional situation you might um, uh, seek um, a, a, a queen of cups and that could be a man or a female but um, she hasn't reached the station yet of status rather of the king but she knows she stands for um, clarity justice honesty communication and wi wisdom she'll cut straight through through the call she's a woman that's quite stern and she has her emotions under control so that she can communicate clearly and cut straight through to the core to get the honesty and justice so this could be your advocate or advisor that you are seeking um, in uh, July or June because the energy does flow over it's m time is man-made perhaps you'll get an issue in uh, June but you're taking action in July right in August you have the ten of earth the ten of pentacles now the ten of pentacles that means that if you win your court case there could be a compensation coming in for you okay you could be getting a gift you could inherit as the ten of pentacles is the top notch of the pentacles there is an ending so there is an ending to this situation and a new beginning and a better one perhaps there might be an extension or in the family you, your partner or you could be uh, in uh, expecting or you might buy a new dog or a new puppy or a new kitten and that's also an extension of the family because they belong with the family so there is a new beginning definitely in August and it's like I already said in July you have a lot of butterflies so this queen could uh, could bring you a transformational period and that is also with the death card the death card means that um, there is an end to a phase and a new beginning okay a transformational period you're no longer the caterpillar but you are becoming the butterfly so something definitely in August is uh, beginning anew lovely and in September you're making plans for the future it doesn't matter which road you choose 
it will always come back onto the same road now if you look into the future you can see there's a crossroads there and it goes along into one road so your plans you're making plans for the future there will be celebrations though as you have the three of cups you will have celebrations with family and friends in September ooh nice one and the two definitely means balance so you're trying to find your balance in something new perhaps this could be a new house that you are going to move to a bigger house because there is a, a, a family extension awesome let me have a look this is September October November yeah in October you have the world now you've got the world in your hand the world is your oyster and what did I say just now you might be buying that house or you might have seen the house and you've bought it and you're making plans whether you will buy it or not or move because this is the card moving home or going on holiday S when something goes round it comes round when something comes round it goes round when something goes up it must go down this is also the karma card if you've done good or bad you'll get it back threefold if somebody's done you wrong they will get it back threefold as well as well as good this me uh, this card also means that a relationship could go up to the next level so if you're going out you might be moving in together if you or you might be getting engaged or if you're engaged you might be getting married awesome awesome and in this deck you've got two pillars it's like the pillars in the high priest and it always represents to me uh, like an 11 so you've got the angels are giving you a doorway to a new beginning and look at this archway you've got the ace of pentacles so step through that doorway that the angels and the divine is giving you there might be a new job there might be promotions definitely both cards have that promotion aspect and meaning and like it could be a, 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 a new house a new job a new love with um, a, a Virgo a, a Capricorn or a Taurus and again you've got an ace so this is two aces so uh, it, it is improving for you on all sides there's more action action could be job could be that you're getting more customers if you've got your own business this could mean that uh, you uh, might uh, start a business out of a hobby because it also represents creativity logic you are brilliant in strategic making strategic plans and sticking to them you will take action to make it come true wow your passion is in everything it could be a new passion with a fire sign that could be a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo okay Libra and then you've got the Knight or uh, no the King of Cups the king of cups again you've got the king of cups here so the king of cups is definitely very important in your life this could be a father this could be a friend this could be a brother this could be your new uh, lover or, uh, or partner life's partner wow he is nurturing and caring he would be a good business partner so long you communicate clearly because of the Queen of Swords in December you have the one of the most beautiful cards in the deck you have the Sun so there could be a Leo if we're talking about fire signs I did say Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you've got one two um, that's Scorpio 
yeah we've got two three um, fire signs so this could be a Leo again moving home going on holiday you're in the spotlight so you definitely have recognition somebody's got an eye on you this could be a, pr a new or a prospective employer or your present employer giving you the uh, the what you call it the promotion and this could also be a new lover but remember passion is not lasting so take it easy take it easy let them know what your boundaries are know what their boundaries are and keep the communication going this card also represents birth birth of a child or a new job or a new home and if you're too mature you might be hearing about a, a birth so you might become an aunt or a grandmother or a grandfather or an uncle awesome and now you've got the magician so you can make it happen okay the magician the downside of the mag magician is don't um, don't create any illusions keep to the straight and narrow that's your best bet to be honest to stay away from dra other people's drama to cut straight through to the core stay honest and clear communicate clearly you've got all the talents on the table and within you and around you to make it happen again you have the world card so something is coming full circle so something you've got two and this has only happened uh, this is the third time that it has happened that I've got a couple of double cards wow so holiday moving home uh, going the next level that is the overall energy of the clarification cards birth what goes up must come down what goes round comes round and you'll get it back threefold the karma card like I said and the overall energy is the hermit and the hermit the hermit is <coughs> excuse me the hermit that is Virgo again Virgo is here so that means meditation contemplation taking time out to sit down and think and also evaluate to make your plans in the right way and to make sound plans that's what I'm hearing so it will not go wrong awesome okay now I'll just recap it very shortly here we've got the king of pentacles which is Taurus so that is an and uh, you've got Libra so you might have an issue with a Taurus or a Capricorn or um, a Virgo then we have the King of Cups that is um, Cancer but don't exclude Scorpio and uh, Pisces and you've got the Queen of Air which is um, Libra as the King is Gemini so again you've got Libra here Libra here so you are quite prominent in the reading it is telling you so Ooh, if you are in a judicial uh, situation Libra justice will be done you might get help from um, a, an other Libra or a Gemini or an Aquarian but Scorpio is quite prominent as we've got Scorpio the, re the death card represents Scorpio okay and you've got the water sign here as well so it could be a Scorpio then you're trying to make plans for the future and you're celebrating something is coming to an end here in uh, August and in October as you have the ten of earth the ten of pentacles you might get an, uh, you might get an uh, inheritance or a gift 
like if you are in a judicial situation or, or like a claim and um, then you might get the, that claim you might get the money in September okay um, you've got earth signs here and that is uh, Virgo Capricorn and Taurus again and the fire signs Sagittarius Aries and Leo and Leo is next to the ace of wands and you again you have the king of cups two cards so the water signs are quite prominent and the air signs and you have two representations and Virgo again an earth sign so I hope you have enjoyed the reading so far and now we're going to the inspiration card pray in sol solitude make peace with silence and that's the hermit make peace I think it should be make peace with silence but also in silence and remind yourself that it is in this space that you'll come to remember your spirit then you are able to transcend an, av an aversion to silence you'll also transcend many other miseries and it is in this silence that the remembrance of the source or force will be activated there you go just put it down and you've got the well now the well from the Lenaman means a wishing well you could uh, make a wish you might you can make a wish but on the other hand the bucket has to go down really really deep so you need to dig a little bit further in the information if you would like to win this situation if you have a judicial issue even if it's a parking fine then make sure that you put all the information and facts within your complaint like photos receipts etc etc and this is the show and tell cards they are almost they were initiated or made created um, as a game in a family this guy that made these cards is a billionaire he sold loads of these decks and now the psychologists life coaches managers manageresses CEOs that do an evaluation um, interview use them and they say to you in they might put 20 on the table I think they're about 52 and they say well choose a picture and they'll start talking and that's how they break <coughs> excuse me that's how they break the uh, ice now look at this picture I've holding it up what do you see in this picture take a screen print and think about it print it out and use it when you're sitting down quietly and contemplating let the ideas come through or visions now you've got one dog is running away from another dog the two different types of dogs they're on the beach are they chasing each other are they fighting are they playing what does the water mean to you what do all the footprints mean to you trying to look really deep into the picture and perhaps that might jug your memory with something and um, pictures speak a thousand words is he the boss or are you chasing somebody or is somebody chasing you see how that works it is something else to think about if you visit uh, places then you can start collecting postcards and you can use them uh, to use as um, show and tell cards 
it's a lovely game to do with kids. You can also be very creative. Um, if you have postcards, let's say 10 postcards, tell the kids to pick a postcard and then give them a task to do, to think about it and then write about it. Pay attention to the red flags. the signs are cautioning you so uh, yes the signs are cautioning you what are the signs in this reading for me I would say you've got the well you need more information with regards to a situation or an issue a judicial situation or an issue or a, a potential partnership that you could meet okay like a Scorpio, an air sign, a water sign, a fire sign, or a Leo. So I hope you have enjoyed this reading, and I hope to see you in the life, if not in the next video. And give us the thumbs up, and please share with family and friends. And thank you very much for being here, and if you are a new viewer, you're welcome and thank you you just join us in the life and you'll be a cyber angel but all the people that come and watch the videos you are my cyber angels but it's that little bit nicer when you join us in the life the cyber family is just awesome take care stay safe and be blessed love you all